Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I want to talk about percentage n, which is an interesting feature printf allows us to use. With the percentage n, we can count how many characters have been printed so far. Okay, let's take this example. Here you have a count variable assigned to zero. Hello is five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Percentage n expects a corresponding argument, but note that I am putting an ampersand in the front. This is because it expects a pointer. Okay, so after the printf is done, if we print the value of count, what will we get for this particular case? We will get five because there are only five characters in hello, H-E-L-L-O. Let me just compile, right, and run it. What you see is, of course, we printed the hello world because our program prints hello world. Hello is this hello. Percentage n is treated as a special modifier. Okay, in this case, the percentage n is used to count how many characters have been printed so far, which is just five. And then printf proceeds with, with the world and then a new line. That is the reason why you see count starting in a new line, right? And count is five because we are only printing until hello inclusive of O, okay, for the percentage n. All right. Let's do one more small change to the code and look at, say, count two, right? And uh, let's create a percentage n again and let's print count two. Let's compile and run. Okay, now count two is 11. If we count the number of characters we printed, hello is five, world is another five, five plus five is 10, and a slash n is new line. So totally 11 characters were printed, including the new line, okay? So this count two is accumulative. Uh, it accumulates everything that, that has been printed so far, even though we have another count variable that only counts until the first percentage n. This count, because there's a percentage n here, it counts all the way from the beginning, how many did we print, okay, including the new line. All right, so the, the reason I'm talking about percentage n is because in the future segments, when we talk about format string vulnerabilities, this is going to be the foundation, okay? Percentage n is one of the important features we will leverage. All right, let's continue further with one more small change now to the percentage n trick, right? Uh, let's see. I'm going to revert my changes, right? I will just have only one count. What will happen to the count now? The count is already initialized with four bytes, right? FF, FE, FD, FC. But how many are we printing using the print statement? Until percentage n, we are printing only five characters. So the count will be five. Let's compile and run it and see whether that is the case. Count is five, as we expected. But what happened to the remaining bytes? Five means just a byte, right? But what happened to my FF, FE, FD? All those three bytes are all cleared out. They become zero. That's because percentage n updates all the four bytes that the count is pointing to. Okay, ampersand count, remember, points to the place which has the least significant byte in a little Indian context. But when you do percentage n, it's not only updating uh, the least significant byte, it's already updating all the four bytes. There are four bytes in this variable count, right? One, two, three, and four. So every two characters is one byte. Every hex, um, two characters is one byte. Percentage n updates all the four bytes of count. So how do we handle this problem that we don't want to corrupt all the four bytes? We just wanted to say, update only two bytes at a time. How do we do that? So there is a technique we can use that's the percentage hn, right? So I'm going to use percentage hn. I'm going to print the count in hex format because I have already h hex here, so it's easier to see it. Okay, let's now look at, ah, there's a warning here. You see here, there's a warning. hn expects a short type, but I'm sending in an int type, right? Ampersand count is an int star, but hn is usually for short int star, okay? But let's uh, ignore that for a moment, yeah? and uh, go ahead and uh, run it. What you would notice is that it updated the two bytes, right? 0500, zero, 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 
where does the zero phi come from? That zero phi comes from number of characters we printed is five. Remember, percentage hn updates two bytes because of short integer star pointer type. And the rest remained the same. We didn't modify them at all. Okay. So that is the difference between a, a percentage n and a percentage hn. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you.